thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Um, today is going to do a very quick review on our fifth generation LED uh, floodlight, which is the Omega series. Yeah? Um, the Omega floodlight uh, LED floodlight has been around more than about seven years, and you can see this one is the uh, third generation. This is the fourth generation, which we did the video about two years back. Yeah, and then this is the uh, fifth generation. Yeah. Uh, some of you might uh, suspect that uh, we probably going to use the Guardian 24X, 240X and the Solar Omega Fertlux uh, LED on our latest 5th uh, generation uh, LED floodlight. Yeah? Um, do not mistaken, uh, this is actually is not the uh, Mini Omega, which is you don't have the battery bank and the controller inside. Yeah? This is just a pure 12BDC. Uh, uh, LED floodlight. Uh, basically, uh, it comes with a uh, waterproof connector and as well as an uh, outdoor cable. Basically, you can just uh, connect this end uh, to a battery or to a charge controller to a 12V uh, power source. Uh, basically, you can power this LED. You also can use this AC, uh, DC 12V adapter to power this uh, if you want to. Yeah. Okay. Um, the, we choose this casing is because, uh, of course, the look of the casing is nice, and it's always uh, when the customer see it, they just love it, yeah. And of course, uh, beside the look, uh, the design itself and the quality and the material use and the heat sink all this uh, well designed, yeah. So you can the spacing of the heat, uh, everything is, is is good, yeah. So that's why we choose this as our fifth generations. Uh, uh, as our LED yeah? uh, floodlight and talk about the LED itself right this is actually is the Creek uh, LED uh, in Guardian uh, which is using a similar uh, LED the Guardian 240X and you can see that uh, the Guardian 240X is using about 64 uh, Creek customized LED and the lumen output is roughly about uh, 300 lumens yeah? And then we also use this in the uh, Omega Street Light, and the Omega Street Light is using 320 uh, uh, click LED, similar LED. And for this one, uh, we designed the reflector. Uh, as you can see, this reflector inside there uh, are much better. Uh, the refraction is very, very good. Yeah, so uh, we can reflect all the light out, and we managed to put in. 256 Creek LED. Yep, you hear me right. It's 256 Creek customized LED. Uh, this amount of LED, uh, when you put in, it will consume roughly about 18 watt. Yeah, 18 to uh, 20. La, yeah, it always depends how long is your cable and things like that. It's gonna be about roughly about 18 watt. Uh, but the power that this guy punch out. It's gonna be 2,500 lumen. Yep, you hear me right. It's 2,500 lumen. Yes, it's damn bright and it's damn powerful. And if you divide 2,500 lumen over uh, 18 watt, basically we are talking about something like uh, 140 lumen per watt. Yeah, it's 140 lumen per watt. And this is not on the technical data or R&D, it's a commercial viable uh, product, yeah. Um, we also feel that this is very bright and chances uh, you do not need it uh, to be that bright. And because from our experience, it's, it, it's a foot light, let's say you have roughly about 800 lumen to uh, 1000 is good enough. For example, this is our third generation. Uh, the lumens uh, for 10 watt, uh, this guy is about 10 watt, the lumens is roughly about uh, 800 to 900. It's good enough, it's, it's, fair, it's a fair game, but 2005 is too much. So our feelings think that, uh, some people might think that they need really, really powerful, uh, really bright for certain uh, time duration, maybe very short, maybe 20 minutes, going to do some uh, checking or want to do some special job that require high power. Just, just to you know, bright up for two thousand lumen. Maybe later on, then he's thinking that okay, I'm, i do not need that kind of brightness. I, I probably is too much, yeah. Because if, two power consumption, 
the uh, the solar system use going to be big. Yeah, imagine to power a 18 watt uh, floodlight. The solar system need is going to be big, and uh, solar panels going to be big. The battery banks need to be big, and everything is going to be costly. And when it comes to the battery maintenance time, it's going to be expensive. Yeah. So what we do is actually we add in a dimmer. Yeah. We'll add in a dimmer inside this floodlight so that you can dim it according to your need at any time. Yeah. So some people might think it. I just need to you know fifty percent of this power, which is about uh, seven watt. Yeah. Seven watt roughly will give you about um, thousand four lumen. Well, still better than the uh, you know uh, third generation thousand four lumen, roughly about seven watt. Uh, that, that probably is good enough uh, for certain uh, area lighting application yeah uh, we also think that if we add in a dimmer here but let's say you want to dim the light you need to go out and you know uh, dim the light it's a bit troublesome because most of the time flood light uh, is installed is somewhere high up somewhere very far uh, for example like in a billboard somewhere very far and uh, it's not easy just you know go out and dim so what we do is actually we add in a remote control yeah, uh, we don't simply just take any remote control. Uh, for example, we in, in the modern day we like to use a IR a remote control. You need to point at the thing and then you press and then the distance is always short. Uh, what we do here is actually we add in a RF uh, remote control. Yeah, it's a, a RF long distance uh, remote control. Uh, very very long distance. Yeah, you can easily uh, control this at a. 25 meter away, yes, you heard me right, about 25 meter away, and you do not need to point at it, you can point in any direction uh, because it's RF, yeah. So uh, you can read a bit more about RF technology, and in the, in the years to come, you will see a lot of RF technology uh, to control modern day life, yeah. Um, this uh, RF uh, remote control will come with a dimmer, you can, uh, I'm not sure whether you can see this, uh, it's a bit hard for me to zoom now, uh, alright. So you basically have the 35%, uh, 50%, 100% power you can choose. Yeah? Uh, let's say you want to 25% uh, or you like to be 10%, 20%, 30%, and then you can press this uh, up and down. Yeah? You want on, you can turn it on, you can want off, you can turn it off. Yeah? And it also comes with other 11 functions. Yeah? Uh, this one will probably will leave it to part 3. I uh, will tell you more about this, uh, this other function. Yeah? Um, with this uh, dimming capability, especially with a uh, design the remote, imagine that for example, you right now you have a very small solar system. Yeah, uh, let's say you have a fifty watt uh, DIY kit, a small system that you purchased from us maybe very year, uh, many years back, and now you are thinking that probably uh, it's a good time for me to you know get this guy and plug in. Yeah, so you can just plug in. Uh, maybe when you. Uh, Put this and install outdoor, yeah. Light up your 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 area, yeah. So let's say is you're not doing any job and you just want to light up here. There is a light for security and things like that. Maybe you can just uh, press this at twenty five percent, yeah. Uh, twenty five percent, I would say that roughly give you about uh, four hundred to five hundred lumen, yeah. Um, it's, it's good enough and you can power the thing there, uh, you know, for the whole night and yeah. But let's say if you uh, need some activity outdoor, uh, you need a very, very bright light, you can just push to 100%, then you will punch out about 2,005 lumen, then it's going to be damn bright, yeah? But of course, maybe you only have this activity out there for 30 minutes, one hour, then you can just dim back, huh? So this dimming uh, gives you the flexibility, uh, you know, to control your lighting need, your brightness need, and then it's, I think it's very good for uh, all our customer is because uh, everyone requirement is different. Just like I mentioned just now, uh, some guy might think uh, 2005 lumen is very bright, some may not. Some even think that uh, 400 lumen is good enough. Yeah, but this will give you the flexibility. Uh, you know what kind of brightness you like. Yeah, and also can help you to save money. Yeah. Because uh, some of you might want to save money, I do not want to spend on a 50 watt DIY kit. I just want to use a 20 watt uh, DIY kit. Yes, why not? I can still use that this light. Maybe I am just dim it down a bit, yeah. And also maybe you come to a scenario, let's say um, bad weather, yeah, bad weather. Let's say in November and December, uh, places just like uh, Sarawak or Sabah, 
when come to November or December, the bad weather, when they start raining, they can raining non-stop for seven days. Uh. Imagine that time, let's say you do not have a big uh, battery backup, but let's say you have this dimmer, this is fantastic. What you can do is maybe you just dim down, instead of using 100% during the raining season, you only use about 25%, dim it down, is you still have light. You know? In that kind of scenario, it's better you know, have light, better than you have no light at all yeah? in the bad weather. So in other words, uh, I would say uh, in, the, in the modern solar, uh, we will use a lot of dimming capability and this will be the uh, requirement uh, uh, for this. Yeah? With this dimming capability, uh, it's much easier to control our energy, yeah? conserve the energy by using the uh, dimming uh, capability. Yeah? Okay, tonight um, I will go out there and do some uh, demonstration. Right, uh, I'm at we'll the testing you. area right now. Uh, you guys are very familiar with this uh, place, uh, some of you. Uh, I have the Omega LED floodlight, which is our fifth generation uh, LED floodlight. Uh, cook up to a uh, lithium power source. And I also install a energy meter, uh, in other words, a watt meter as well, um, to measure the, you know, the power consumption of this uh, uh, LED uh, flood light, the Omega 5th generation. And with me is the uh, remote control. Right now I'm actually using a 25%. Uh, you can see uh, the watt consumed is roughly about 2.7 watt. Yeah? So let's say if I punch out to 50%, uh, the brightness has increased. Uh, it's roughly about uh, 6.8 watt. Yeah. So if I again I punch up to 100% power, uh, the watt is roughly about coming to uh, 18 watt. Yeah. So I'm gonna show you first. Uh, if you want to off it, yeah, you can off it. Yeah. Uh, a bit dark. Yeah. All right. So now I'm gonna put back and I'm gonna do a. Uh, 25%. Okay, 25%. Now it go back to 2.7 watt. Yeah. So I'm going to show you how white, how bright is uh, 2.7 watt. Okay. Not so bad. Uh, I mean, the area it cover uh, is quite okay. Uh, I'm going to continue to walk uh, backward. All right. Uh, not so bad. All right. So now I'm going to punch it out to uh, 50%. Okay. So this is 50%. Okay. The area that cover is, I would say, double, almost double. And the brightness also double. Let's see uh, what if we punch up the 100%. Wow. It's damn bright. And you can see that the area it cover is also uh, wider. And you can see this spot here is actually um, very intense. Yeah, uh, but I would say that 100% or equivalent to 18 watt is overkill. Yeah, but let's say if you use it for a signboard or a billboard, that is that is a fair game. But just to light out your house, I would say this is overkill. Okay, I'm just gonna move this light uh, backward and see uh, whether the cover area is gonna increase. I need to be very careful on this because the this guy is with a wire, it's not the Mini Omega. Mini Omega is the battery bank is inside, so I do not need to worry about this uh, wire thing, yeah? So I'm gonna uh, put here as the wire as it can go. All right, and I'm gonna move backward again. And you can see the area it cover. Yep, is, when you move further, it's much better because the area is cover is wider and also consistent. Uh, one unit of this, yeah, you can use it for a billboard, yeah. Four unit, well, you will just cover everything. And I would say this is our fifth generation uh, Omega LED flood light, the highest uh, lumen per watt uh, in the market at the moment. All right, we are not testing something uh, scientifically or R and D. Uh, this is a commercial available product, the highest uh, lumen per watt, and the power that you know uh, consume on the LED uh, is very very low 
and it's a very idea, uh, especially you use it uh, for solar power. Okay, even I put it on 50%, uh, it's still good enough. Yeah, so roughly about 6.7 watt, 50%, uh, 50%, percent, 6.7 watt, uh, you get this. So I would say that uh, it's very high efficient uh, AVD uh, in our inventory and it's perfect for uh, all kind of the solar uh, application I'm going to just put it back to 100% yeah um, so do catch it on the second part on and the third part yeah uh, on this uh, Omega flood line all right and thanks for watching Testing a uh, RF uh, controller and uh, remote controller, see how far it can go. Uh, it's just on the first. Right. Now let's try it. I'm going to walk uh, away as far as I can. Uh, let's test about a uh, 35 meter range. Okay, sleep it off and let's on it. Okay, let's go further. On a 50 meter range. Alright. Okay, let me see whether I can dim this guy up. Off it. Yep. This is a 25% power. 50%. 100%. Off it. On it. <laughs> 